Hi everyone, welcome back to Transformers Toys for Kids. Today we're looking at the buzzworthy Bumblebee Energon Escape with Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. Now we've got these extra gizmos right in the center and let's look on the back to see what we're going to use those for. Alright, so after we transform them into their vehicle modes, which only takes seven steps so it shouldn't be too bad, I think you insert that piece right in the back and then you give it a little push on the top. So I think you just squeeze it right here and it causes that wheel down at the bottom to spin. So let's get this unboxed and check it out. Alright, Bumblebee and Optimus Prime are unboxed and ready to go. Before we get started, I want to say a quick thank you for those of you watching and those of you who tune in every single week to watch this channel. Transformers Toys for Kids is at nearly 20,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Let's take a closer look at each of their robot modes real quick. We've got Bumblebee, who's got a pretty interesting face sculpt. Looks just like the movie. The back is never the greatest on these simplified toys. But he's got some really cool gears and paint on the front. And then Optimus Prime, I noticed, has a really cool head sculpt, but these are some basic Transformers with basic steps. The main fun are these Energon igniters that you stick into them. And then when you push down on this, this wheel, which sits at the bottom of the vehicle mode, pushes it along. Let's get Bumblebee transformed into his vehicle mode. First step is to take this piece and lift it up and then kind of take his legs and push them together. And then these can kind of snap together in the back too. And then these are what hold him up. So we'll flip those back for vehicle mode. Looks like he's coming apart there. So let's get him squeezed back together. And then we actually need to take these pieces and lift them up, which is kind of hard to do because they're tabbed in down here. So we can't just lift straight up. You gotta slide it and then lift up. And then we can close the doors because those will latch around these pieces. So close the door here, and close the door here, and give it a little squeeze. Well, those came out a little bit, so let's slide them back under. There we go. All right, Bumblebee is ready to go in his pretty cool Camaro mode here. But that's not all there is to this, because this is an Energon igniter. So what they do is you can push down on the back here, and it opens up because we need to slide this piece right in the back. So if we close that up, looks like a nice vehicle mode, but just push your thumb in and it opens up very easily. And then you take this piece with this metallic button in the back and slide it right in and it should snap in pretty well. So let's give it a little push and hear it snap. And then all you have to do, I found if you hold down on the front, it helps him move along a lot better. So Optimus, you move back, or else you're gonna get run over. And then we're gonna pull down the front as we push this down. And then let go. Whoa, had to catch it, that's pretty awesome. Once I get Optimus transformed, then I can get both of these scooting right along here. So let's do it again. Push down, hold the front, and then let go. That is awesome. Yeah, it'll be really cool if I can zoom out and let you see just how far it goes. All right, let's get Optimus transformed. All right, Optimus, it is your turn. So the first step is to pull this out and then take his head and put it down. And then slide that in. There we go. And then we can take his heel spurs and fold them up. And then this just kind of latches in there nicely to hold everything in place. This part's a little different, but it's kind of the classic Optimus Prime transformation. So we're going to spin this back and then this piece folds up and forms the cab in one side. We'll get that squeezed in when the other part goes in. And then I'm gonna straighten this first. Rotate, swing this part up. Oh, his leg came unattached. So this one's a little harder to get right than Bumblebee, but not bad. And then we're going to lift this all up like this. See, I don't know if that's the exact transformation because my copy didn't come with instructions, but I'm almost positive this is the end result you want. And he rolls just fine, as he should, but really, that's not the coolest part of the whole thing. Yes, his vehicle mode is pretty cool, but as before, you can push your thumb down into here, look at these, pop out to either side, 
so you can fit this right in. Well, you gotta flip it around. Remember this piece goes in the back and then push down, it should make that sound. There we go, there's the sound we're looking for. And let's see how he rolls. Bumblebee, look out. All right, he's got such a heavy front part, we don't really need to hold down on the front of him. All right, here we go. Well, that wasn't so good, let's try that again. Whoa, that was much better. I just needed to give him a little extra push on this part. Let's try that again. Whoa, where's he going? He's swerving all over the place. All right, let's zoom out a little bit so we can see these two in action at a better distance. One other really cool part about this is when they're in this mode, check that out. That's just a fun little added feature to either side and Optimus has that too. They're almost like Energon weapons that pop out as soon as you add this cool feature in the back. Let's check out what's going on down underneath. So this is the part that's propelling it forward. So when I push down, that's the part that's spinning. So hard to get on camera. Whereas these four wheels are just going along for the ride. So that's the cool part. So when I pull it out and then I close it up, it's still got that space, that big hollow space for it, but you wouldn't really know it from the top because of how nicely it closes everything up. But then, I mean, you could probably just push down like this. Yeah, that works just fine to do that. And give it a squeeze. There we go. And he's ready to go. Optimus is the same. Flip him over. He's got this wheel to propel all the other ones forward. If we take it out and then kind of squeeze these, he's good to go. And then push down and he's back ready to go. But this part I found needs to stay shut. This is what's holding him together. Just this little latch right here. Wow, overall, I'm a big fan of these little guys. I mean, Transformers are fun in general just to transform back and forth, but when you add in this extra bit of playability, it makes them so fun. You could play with them just as Transformers, or you could put this part in and add that extra bit of fun to it. Have them race, have them run into each other. I love it. This is a fun toy, and it comes with two of them. Thank you so much for watching today. Please tune back in every week for more fun Transformers toys videos.